All right, this was the battery pack that was in the EV30, and I was uh, testing out a BMS system for a company. It was originally, uh, I approached them, had a concept for a BMS that would, uh, a single board that would fit on each module um, and make, to make it super easy to use the, uh, the Volt BMS. And we were testing that and apparently this board was on this one failed and it drained this entire module uh, all the way down. And uh, which is definitely unfortunate. You can actually see, so it's zero volts on this whole module. And you can actually see, it looks a little odd shaped here. The, I'm um, uh, pretty sure that we'll turn to it in just a second, but I'm pretty sure these cells have swelled significantly. So uh, I'm going to pull it apart and we'll take a look. All right, oh, wrong. There's the tent. Always be careful because terminals are hot. Reminder on the, uh, there's so much pressure, I, don't, I might not be able to get that off, that's interesting. Reminder on this is that one side they're hot, so that's actually the bus bar, and that's where you can see the um, leads come over to connect the power between. Oh yeah, I can't get that one off, that's interesting. On the other side, it's just a uh, mechanical connection to keep the top of the pack from spreading. Um, there's a, you can see a very noticeable bulge right here. Um, You can see that, and it's pushed out against that. There's the uh, cells, this set of cells here is swelled so much, you can just see how it's bowed out through there. Everything should be tight over here, but uh, that's happened there. So, probably have to do is take off the uh, back bolts here and hopefully, I can still relieve it in there. When listening to these packs, do a little bit at a time. That's all that pressure built up in the uh, in the swelled cells. Now it's cracking the plastic case. Look at that. See how much it's uh, pushing out there. Obviously, this is not the situation you want to be in, but it is what it is. That is a very failed pack. Whew. All right. Now, like I said, all these were at zero volts. They were already completely discharged. That's what caused the uh, cells to swell. But I see quite a bit of force in there. I gotta be worried because the, or, or be very careful because this module and that module are still hot, so. Good BMSs go back.
So this is still, I'll look it over, but still should be a perfectly viable module. So maybe you're probably wondering why the heck is this happening? So when you fully discharge cells or overcharge them, you start getting, let's just say, unintended chemical reactions. And those result in a state change, or can result in a state change, uh, that requires more volume than was there originally. And as a result, they swell. And that pressure needs to go somewhere. So, or, or that, uh, that increase in space has to go somewhere. Um, and in the case, this case, with the way the pack is designed, these rods hold everything together. When I release that, then that, that pressure was relieved. And that's the result. So let's take a look. So let's see. You can see the, uh, this is the, Actually, I have to point the camera in the right direction for you guys to see. So this is an interesting uh, deep dive into a cell. So this is the end plate. It's actually a steel plate. It's got painted and it's got the, uh, looks like an injection molded fiberglass reinforced. I'm going to say a PP maybe, uh, a polypropylene. Uh, essentially, it's, essentially it's a fiberglass. It's a Glass reinforced, maybe it's, actually it's probably nylon, now that I think about it, given the color. So anyway, uh, I'll throw that there. Then, the next layer is this plastic layer, and this layer protects, is just a plastic, kind of a chafing, anti-chafe layer, that protects the cell, which is right underneath, from rubbing and potentially shorting from that. So, that's what that is. Then we have the cell. So this is the individual cell that's inside. Obviously it shouldn't look like this. Again, it's swollen. That's what happens when you screw up a pack. And then inside, this is the, uh, the real party piece of the Volt Packs. This is what makes the, uh, in my opinion, what part of it makes the Volt Packs so good. One, you've got this uh, large format prismatic cell with large amounts of surface area, large anodes, um, gives you a, the uh, capability for a high discharge rate. And this was a 15, approximately 15 kilowatt hour pack powering a full coal car. Uh, so you need a higher discharge rate. Um, as opposed to the Volt where you have, or sorry, as opposed to the Tesla module, which happens, just happens to be sitting right there. Um, that's a five kilowatt hour, but its discharge rate is much lower. Like I can easily pull a thousand amps from that. Never did on this module, but I could. That really 500, maybe 750, um, as opposed to one of those 48 volt modules for the same weight uh, pack, not the same capacity. This is a significantly lower capacity, but for the same weight, I can have double the power, but realistically about half the capacity. Uh, everything in life is a trade. So, um, for the for the for the Chevy Volt, the uh, pack was sized for this plug-in hybrid where you're only having a range of 40 miles you can discharge the entire battery pack in 30 minutes 45 minutes when you're driving full out so you need cooling to get that ir heating that's in there out and you need large anodes large surface area to get all that heat out that i say is that one achilles heel of the tesla modules is the way that it cools is it has these um so over here very small amount of cooling go through. They wrap a uh, a loop through there, and only half this, uh, only one side of the cells gets cooled, etc. As opposed to the Volt, where you've got a cooling plate, and then you've got it, and then you've got another one. You can see all that. So, I'm going to continue very carefully taking this apart, and uh, I'll have to figure out a place I can properly recycle that. I've actually got a decent stockpile of bad batteries that I need to uh, uh, get properly recycled. But uh, I was taking this one apart like, ah, I should uh, throw the video camera while I'm doing this. You can see how swollen some of those are in there. I mean, 
And again, not a fault of the battery, the BMS board that was on top of it, uh, this and one other module, uh, the board failed and it drained it down to zero volts. The other one didn't go all the way to zero, but this one, it, it drained all the way. The uh, thing you have to be careful with this is uh, if you put enough pressure, it can actually damage the module next to it. That does have energy in it, and then you can actually cause a, a fault that way, and it can be a cascade, which not a good day. The, other, the worst condition, though, is when you overcharge, um, and uh, then you have lots of energy and you have a fault, and you're just asking for a really, really bad day. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I did.